Our Republic Recycling Facility here in Seattle started about 25 years ago. We've been advancing recycling goals for communities throughout the Puget Sound ever since. That we're processing here 15,000 tons of recyclables a month, and otherwise that material is going to the landfill. People in the Pacific Northwest are, are very serious about the recycling. Folks want to recycle more and dispose less. And there is a dynamic here in the state of Washington where disposal is relatively expensive. So it can be more cost effective to recycle as well. So we're really helping the communities achieve both social goals, recycling more and doing the right thing for the planet, and financial goals uh, by reducing their overall waste disposal obligations. Well, in terms of output, we're one of the largest in the United States. We process over 200,000 tons a year, which is the equivalent of 500 fully loaded 747 jets. Each bale of aluminum weighs about a half a ton and contains 30,000 aluminum cans. A can of aluminum can be recycled indefinitely, and the process happens so quickly that it can go from this bale to a can back on the shelf in one to two months. The plastics can be turned into things like fleece jackets and fiber turns back into paper or cardboard of some sort as well. This facility was built for basically a lot of speed. This is one of the highest performing public facilities there is right here. We would be close to 50 tons an hour. I'm not aware of any facility this size or even larger that processes more material than we do. We, we've been doing it for a long time. We've constantly invested into our system and they're processing the material at a more efficient rate than any other place I'm familiar with. One of the things that we're continuing to do is to try to make a cleaner product. So we're trying more and more to reduce any contamination uh, or residual waste. And we do that by working with the customers that we serve. We have a team that is tasked with going out there and educating uh, the people that feed this facility ultimately to do the right thing when they're putting material in their recycling bin so that the whole system operates more efficiently. This facility has gone through um, a number of changes over the years. We've demonstrated a commitment to continuing to evolve uh, with the technology uh, within the recycling industry so we stay ahead of the curve and make sure that uh, we can not only meet what the communities want us to do but uh, lead them uh, to higher and higher recycling numbers. There was a lot of manual sorting originally in 2003 we added uh, screening equipment, uh, disc screens that size the uh, material and for instance uh, a disc screen can pull off cardboard whereas other material falls through the screen. And optical sorters that actually can read down to the molecular level to separate uh, commodities uh, by their, their makeup. They, they can be set for, for whatever resin you want to capture. The, the capture rate is, I understand, 95%. As the equipment keeps getting bigger and bigger and faster and faster, we've always been able to upgrade and keep our plant ahead of the game all the time. I mean, as technology changes and everything changes, that we have to change with it to stay caught up.